Surveillance. What does it mean to you? Some may say surveillance provides an element of safety to everyday life. Others may say the opposite and call it an invasion of privacy. If I were to ask you how many security cameras are in your local grocery store, would you know how many off the top of your head? Or would you never have paid that much attention? I know for a fact that I wouldn't know. It's just not something that you think about when you walk in. However, this raises the question, how exactly are we being tracked in this day and age filled with ever-evolving technology? One example of a technology that potentially decreases society's privacy and increases the ability to be tracked is cashless payments. Stan Sater addresses this in his academic report titled Financial Privacy in a Cashless Society when he states, People are surrendering large amounts of data to the organisations, including sensitive personal information and financial records. Stan then goes on to say, This data feeds into marketing, sales and financial decision making, creating a near complete digital dossier on every individual. Personally, I reckon it's a scary thought that we as private citizens are being surveilled in everyday life, and not just when we walk down the street, but our transactions too. And some may argue that this increase in surveillance is for the better in that it can track criminals and stop crimes before they happen. But at what cost is this to the rest of us, who may have never committed crimes and may never commit offences? I would argue that this increase in surveillance may lead to the de-individualisation of society as a whole. I personally don't like the idea that hypothetically I could stay inside my own home for any period of time and every time I click the checkout button on an online store, that information is recorded and filed under my name. I'd also just like to thank you for checking out my video and listening to my thoughts on the matter. If you would like to, please check out the link for my WordPress blog post regarding the creation of this video. Thanks again.